This is an audio guide about biosimilar medications brought to you by Creaky Joints Australia. Be sure to go to creakyjoints.org.au and join for free to keep updated on all of our resources. A biosimilar medication, also known as a biosimilar, is a very close duplicate of an original brand of biologic medication or a biologic. Biologic medications are developed from living cells and are used for a wide variety of conditions including diabetes, chronic kidney failure and some types of cancer. They are often prescribed to treat autoimmune conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis and Crohn's disease. You might already be using biologics such as Etanacept, sold under the brand name Embril, Infliximab, sold under the brand name Remicade, or Adalimumab, sold under the brand name Humira, to treat your condition. Biologics have large, complex molecular structures compared to tablet medications. Picture a basketball next to a pea and you'll get the idea. As a result, they cannot be processed through the digestive system Instead, they are injected or infused into the bloodstream. Unlike the synthetically made generic versions of tablet form medications, which are 100% identical to the original brand medication, biosimilars are highly similar versions of an original brand of biologic brought to market once the patent on the original brand expires. Biosimilar medications are designed and engineered using the latest technology to resemble their reference product as closely as possible. Biosimilars even have the same active ingredient name as their reference biologic, but they are sold under different brand names. However, the end products can never be exactly the same as the original biologics, so they cannot be reproduced identically. Both biologics and biosimilars can even vary slightly between batches. Does this mean biosimilars are safe? Yes, they are. The very minor differences between a biosimilar and its reference biologic mean that the biosimilar has the same safety profile as the reference biologic. Both must go through the clinical trial process, although biosimilars can use some of the data from the clinical trials conducted for their reference biologic. Biosimilars must also pass the same strict regulation processes of Australia's Therapeutic Goods Administration. Biosimilars will not be approved if they don't meet the same quality, efficacy and safety standards as their reference biologics. Is there a cost difference between biologics and biosimilars? There is no price difference for consumers between biologics and biosimilars as these are sold at the same fixed price through the Pharmaceutical Benefit Scheme, PBS. The scheme is available to all Australian residents who hold a current Medicare card. However, biosimilars represent significant cost benefits to the government. While biologics are planned and developed from the ground up, biosimilars are based on biologic structures that already exist. This means they are more cost effective to produce than their reference biologic. So they can be sold to the Australian government through the PBS at a lower price. When the first biosimilar of a biologic is listed on the PBS, the price the PBS pays for all equivalent medicines in that category drops. For example, if an adalimumab biosimilar is approved, the price of the PBS of the reference biologic Humira plus the biosimilar both drop to the same lower price. Additionally, when a biosimilar medication becomes available in Australia, it encourages market competition between manufacturers, which in turn can make these high cost medications more affordable for the Australian government to subsidise. In the long run, that means less expensive medicine as the cost savings allow the government to invest in other medications and areas of the healthcare system. Consumers also benefit from the increased range of treatment options available to them. How are biosimilars prescribed? Only rheumatologists and clinical immunologists are authorised to prescribe biologics and biosimilars for rheumatological conditions in Australia. If you have autoimmune arthritis, you'll most likely see a rheumatologist to access either of these medication types. When you receive a prescription for a reference biologic, your rheumatologist must apply for an authority approval in writing from the PBS for prescribing the medicine. This process must be done by mail or email and it can take several weeks before the prescription reaches you. However, 
Biosimilars can already have streamlined authority, which means your rheumatologist can include a relevant code on your prescription and you can walk out of your appointment with it in hand. There are several ways you may be prescribed a biosimilar. Firstly, if you meet the access requirements and have not previously been treated with a biologic medication, your rheumatologist may prescribe an appropriate biosimilar for you if there is an approved one on the market for your condition. The Australian government encourages prescribing of a biosimilar brand rather than the original biologic brand for patients who are new to that particular therapy. Also, if you have tried a biologic or a biosimilar of one active ingredient and it didn't work for you, your rheumatologist may prescribe a biosimilar with a different active ingredient that you haven't tried. Secondly, you may receive a biosimilar brand if you have been treated with an original biologic brand of the same ingredient, such as Etanacept, and it has been successful. Your rheumatologist can simply specify the biosimilar brand name they use on your prescription. This process is known as switching. Finally, just as brands of synthetic medications can be substituted with their generic counterparts at pharmacy level, so too can original brands of biologics be substituted with their equivalent biosimilars without the pharmacist checking with the prescriber. This process is known as A-flagging. It is important to note that biologics will never be switched for biosimilars at pharmacy level if your rheumatologist has ticked the brand substitution not permitted box on the prescription form. This ensures your biologic won't be substituted for its biosimilar unless your rheumatologist deems it safe and you have given your consent. Studies have shown there are no increased risk to patients switching between biologics and biosimilars of the same type of medication, although it is always best to speak to your rheumatologist about which options are best for you. For more information about biosimilars, visit the Arthritis Treatments section of the Creaky Joints Australia website at creakyjoints.org.au. Be sure to listen to our other audio guides explaining more about how the Pharmaceutical Benefits Scheme and the Therapeutic Goods Administration make decisions that affect you, as well as our communication tips for you and your healthcare providers. Click follow wherever you listen to your podcasts and join the Creaky Joints Australia community to receive additional resources to help you live your best life despite arthritis. Join for free at creakyjoints.org.au. Creaky Joints Australia recommends that you always consult with your medical provider to ensure you remain at the centre of your healthcare.